What's up, everybody? What's going on? I haven't seen you guys in a few days. I just wanted to say hi and tell you that I just got done with a full day of work and I am heading home because I'm going to grab my Canon 80D and my new iPhone 7 and we're going to head over to a lake nearby because I want to grab some photos with the iPhone 7 and compare it to the quality that comes out of my Canon 80D. <laughs> Alright, so what's up everybody? I'm here at Mill Pond Lake. That's the lake here behind me. I'm going to be taking pictures of it. I'm going to use my iPhone. I haven't used my iPhone for a while. It's a beautiful fall day. I love fall. It's my third favorite season. I love spring and I love summer more. But fall is beautiful. Leaves are all changing colors. I love coming to this spot to take pictures. And I have my iPhone 7. I've had it for a few weeks now. Um, but I haven't really put it through its paces, so I'm gonna take a few pictures of this I'll post them in the video so you can see how they come out and um, I want to say it's about 5 p.m. So it's not full Sun um, But I do have the Sun behind me, so I'm gonna be using that as the backdrop to take some of these photos and We'll see how the iPhone does now what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna play with any of the settings it's typically, I'm going to set it up for like automatic, everything auto. Let's see what kind of uh, pictures I get. If you don't have, if you don't have a, if you don't have a Joby tripod, I recommend buying one. It's very flexible and you can pretty much set it up anywhere. The legs, the legs themselves on the tripod are bendy. So you can fold them, they'll grip onto like tree branches, they'll grip onto bars and they make for a good extension if you if you need to grab it somewhere it's a great it's a great tool to have i'd recommend one all you do is you wrap it around the bar and it sits still and then you can leave it and then you can take pictures with it and it'll hold it very very still all right i'm setting it up for a time lapse I'll leave it for a few minutes and see what cut what the quality is of the time lapse once I, once it's done. I'm gonna wrap this up. I'm gonna head over to spot number two. Grab some pictures over there, and so stay with me. All right, I'm here. This is what I'm gonna be uh, filming right here and taking some photographs of it. Uh, it's not a big spot, but it has a lot of different elements. I love this little spot here, so I'm just gonna, gonna grab a couple of photos. So stay with me, I hope you enjoy them. Take a look. I'm gonna go photograph across the street in a little bit. I don't know if you can see this area back here is I'm gonna go there next okay that looks nice too so stay with me I'll show you the photos of course all right spot number two is done I'm trying to get out of here pretty quick because the spots that, that this spot in particular I was on the highway and I'm trying to get past these cars because I don't want to get killed all right I'm at the third location but I'm afraid I ran out of sunlight it might be a little too dark to take these pictures I'm gonna give it a shot anyway and see what the iPhone can do with these shots. So, I'm gonna be photographing this open field right here behind me. As you can see, it's got a nice backdrop of trees. And let's see how they come out without too much sunlight. Sorry guys, this last spot was a bus. It's just way too dark. The pictures look terrible. I'm gonna pack it up, call it a day, 
and uh, I'll come back and try again another day. Some of the pictures I took today are absolutely beautiful. Um, I can definitely see that the iPhone 7 has a little bit of oomph. I can see why that I can definitely see that they've made a lot of progress with their camera. Uh, it's too bad I can't compare it to a Note 7 because I think that's really the only thing that would give it some competition. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe below and I'll see you at the next episode.